guys and welcome to October's beauty favourites. I hope you all had a lovely October, um, you enjoyed Halloween, had lots of fun. Let me know below what you dressed up as, particularly if you use one of my tutorials and I'd really love to know. And um, hopefully you're as excited as I am for Christmas, but it's been fine like, beforehand and I'm excited for that. And then I'm excited for the run up to Christmas as well. But I'm just going to get started with a couple of favourites. I've only got six, so not too many. So I've only got hair care and makeup this month. So I'm going to start with hair care as that's the least that I have. I've been liking this Fito um, Spray Volume Intense. Just because I have really flat hair, so I need something to kind of hold any sort of volume I blow dry into it. And this really helps. It's a little bit sticky, but I don't mind that. I think that you need it to be a little bit sticky for it to really hold. And this does that. Um, it's been lasting me quite a while, and I still have quite a lot left. Um, I like the packaging, and it's just an all-round really good product. I use it to so blow dry my hair upside down with this in it, and then when I section off my hair, I put a little bit more in, just to kind of really get a little bit of extra hold. So definitely worth looking into if you have quite fine hair like I do. you also notice that I have a tendency to lose lids. So we've got another product with no lid, although I probably do know where the lid to this is. Um, and this is the Kerastas VIP Powd Volume in Powder. Um, so it's just a volumizing spray with a little bit of hold to it as well and this is a strong hold one the little cap like this that came with it actually stopped working so I had to put on one from a dry shampoo bottle that I'd finished but this has been my favorite kind of volume spray I think I also really like the dry spun finish but I think this one's a little bit better I haven't tried the Orbe one which I know everyone loves but for me, this has been this is a little bit drier than the dry spun and holds a little bit better and isn't quite as actually dry feeling on the hair. So I kind of think I prefer this one, but I love both in all fairness. On to drugstore favourites. I have been loving the Revlon Colour Stay Liquid Eye Pen, which is what I've got on now. Eyeliner has a tendency to kind of sm smudge on me and transfer onto the top of my lid and this doesn't actually do that um, funnily enough I've also tried the Revlon um, like liquid liner that's not in a pen form and that really irritates my eyes and my lash line and it's just so sore but this doesn't do that I find that pens don't tend to stay black for too long but I've been using this for about a month now and it's still very black which is great you can kind of you can get a really thin line or build it up to a thicker one which I like and it's just easy to use on the go. I can apply this in the car quite easily. A little bit easier than a gel liner or something like that. So it's definitely worth looking into. A new launch which I've been trying is a 17 Define and Conquer Contour Kit. The only kind of contour kit that I think compares to this drugstore wise is the Sleek Contour Kit which everyone knows I love. However, that's got a very gritty highlight, um, which isn't finely milled and is very glittery. Whereas this highlight is a little bit more natural and the contour is just as good. I believe it comes in just one shade and with a huge mirror as well, which I like. I think the packaging is quite nice and um, yeah, just a really good contour if you don't want to spend a lot of money. On to high end and I have been loving the high brow glow. By benefit it's what I've got on my inner corner and under my brow I'm beginning to collect pencils that I love to keep in my handbag and this is one of them pencils are just so much easier to apply on the go than a cream product but you can still kind of use your fingers to blend them in unlike a powder product so you don't need brushes this will be my favorite th discovery this month in terms of pencils I use it under my brow bone and in the inner corner to really um, brighten up my eye area but you could actually use this on top of your cheeks as well just kind of smear a little bit onto the back of your hand warm it up and just apply it like that and it would apply beautifully so definitely a great handbag product finally is a lip product that I've discovered this month I don't tend to think it's worth spending a lot of money on high up, on high end lip glosses because they they never really last that long their lip glosses you reapply them I just don't really know if it's worth it, but I was given this as a present and I love this. It's the YSL Gloss Volupte in 210. 
it obviously looks beautiful smells incredible I like the doe foot it's kind of a funny shape but I like it and the colour is perfect for everyday wear it hasn't got any glitter in it so it's completely my sort of colour and I would definitely recommend looking into it if you're looking for an everyday high-end gloss. And that's the end of my October favourites. I hope you enjoyed that. It was quite short, but those are the products I've been loving recently. And um, let me know in the comments what you've been loving this month. Don't forget to check out the description for all my links and stuff. And I'll see you all soon. Have a lovely week. Bye.